Hey guys, welcome back to Scooters, Scooters, Scooters. Today we're going to be working on a C3 and we're going to go through a very common problem with uh, scooters when you're buying them on Craigslist. And that is a lot of times you'll see that um, scooters have been, or motorcycles in general, have been crashed at some point in their lives or laid down as it's called. And typically when that happens, if you have a slide out or a crash on either side, uh, the most common areas that are going to be damaged is the front fender. You can see this one has been put down once. Um, you know, sometimes the headlight, depending on how it scrapes. A lot of times the side view mirror and the brake lever. You can see that one's dinged up pretty bad. And then sometimes the side body panels. So that's always the first thing you want to look for when you're looking at a new scooter is check that out. If you see scrapes there um, or here on the sides. Um, of the handlebars, you know, that's a pretty good clear sign that it's been crashed or at least uh, fallen over at some point in the bike's life. So another thing that happens a lot of times when you have a scooter that falls over or gets in a wreck is this aluminum handlebar will often bend. So this one is pretty badly bent, so I was going to record kind of swapping that out today. I happen to have uh, a newer one that's not bent so you can kind of see the difference. So the one that's mounted on the bike now is bent down and this one is straight. So you can kind of, you know, it's really obvious when you're riding the bike because this feels like it's a little bit further away and it's bent down so it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right. Um, again, here's kind of the comparison. You can see at the tip it's probably an inch lower, maybe half an inch lower to where it should be if it was just straight. So what we're gonna show you how to do today is pull that off and uh, straighten it out and then put it back on the bike. So what you need for this is generally gonna be just a, uh, you know, a Phillips head screwdriver. A lot of times they're held on with bolts in the back. So it's a pretty easy thing to fix. So this bike is a Yamaha C3 and this particular scooter has a, uh, it's an eight millimeter bolt on the bottom and a Phillips head screwdriver screw on the top. So we'll just get that undone real quick. All right, so once you have the bolt out, um, it's still connected by the brake cable. And so you're gonna have to pull the brake cable out. There's kind of a barrel connector in here. Um, the easiest way to get it out though is to disengage the brake that it's connected to. So the one on the left is typically gonna be your back brake. So you can see as I pull this, that's moving that back brake. So in order to loosen this up, we'll just go here because this has a, uh, drum brakes will pull this loose a little bit by just twisting it counterclockwise till it's about a quarter inch out from where it was. That should give us just enough slack on the brake, the hand brake, to be able to now pull this out of the slot like that. And then we can twist it like this and then pull that barrel part out. So now the brake is free. So again, we'll just compare those side by side and you can see how one of them is uh, bent pretty badly. Um, and so the easiest thing to do is just to throw this in a vise and then hit it with a hammer repeatedly. You got to be really careful when doing this because I've broken a lot of them. Um, if you hit it too hard or try and go too much at once, it will just snap off. The aluminum is a little bit brittle. Uh, so you want to go pretty slow and then um, kind of do it just a little bit at a time. All right, so here we are on the vise. We're going to take the bent handle here and then drop it in. Another alternative if you don't have a vise is to, um, you know, you could try and put it down with one of these guys. Um, just lock it to a workbench and then secure it that way. Uh, that would probably work to some extent if you had a good enough clamp. 
Um, what I always do is put some cardboard or some packing foam in this case on the sides so you're not uh, scraping up the handle as you're clamping it down on the vise. So you want to get it really, really firm in there but not too firm to where it's going to bend um, any of the areas where the uh, drum bolt kind of slides in and secures itself. And then now you're going to want to use a hammer, really emphasized hammer will work, and just start hitting it. Again, little by little because these things can break pretty easily. And then because I have this as a frame of reference, I'll just kind of hold it up as I'm going to get an idea for how much farther I need to go. Alright, so it looks like that's quite a bit better and more straight than it was before, so I'll just pull it out. So one thing I noticed, uh, I did exactly what I told you not to do, which is I clamped it too hard and now this uh, little channel area where the cable, the brake cable itself is supposed to run is was in the clamp and so it got clamped down. So what I need to do now is put something in there to kind of pry that open again. So I will use a just a flathead screwdriver, kind of just poke it in there and twist it a little bit. Perfect. So now you can see the channel is all uh, cleared up, it's good to go. So now we will go ahead and reinstall this on the bike. All right, so we've got the, the finished piece that's nice and repaired. So what you wanna do, now that this is ready to go back in, is you wanna line that barrel piece up with this. So it slides down in the cylinder, and then you wanna make sure you have room to slide this um, the cable back into the channel. So we'll rotate it around, making sure that cable is staying right in the channel there. And then that hole where you're gonna put the bolt back in needs to line up there. So once that's all in and you see the bolt holes are kind of lined up, we'll go ahead and drop that bolt back in. So then once that hole is started there, and I can see it in the bottom coming out. We'll go ahead and uh, add the bottom bolt back in as well. And once that's good to go, we will just re-tighten that rear brake that we previously loosened to get the handle off. So that's it, we're good to go. We repaired the brake lever and reinstalled it. As you can see, here's a before and an after version. So it's good to go, feels better. The, uh, you know, the brake's been tightened up, so looks like we're good to go. Thanks guys.